You know when you're using your full coverage tips or your dual tips and you get them all on, they look so good, and then the underside looks kind of bumpy and rough? It's annoying, isn't it? I got a couple of ways that I can show you to make it nice and smooth on the underside, so you can show that off too. Let's get started. Before I get started, I do want to show you this and Carmen. <laughs> These are a tip. Look how long that is, okay? Mm. This is the well, and this is the part you put on the end of the finger. So you'd put them on right about here. Look how long. If this was to stay there, look at that. Wow. <laughs> long and uh, my point why I wanted to show these long is not an issue for nowadays but look how curved that is that's not the style today <laughs> and I want to show you I've got a long tip this is the longest one I seem to have right now but this that's a pretty long tip right when oh, you put yeah. that on here it goes right at the cuticle so it's not quite starting at the same point but this would sit right here but you can see how it's meant to be so straight right but this guy, if you put this on the way it's meant to be adhered, right here, look, it's meant to be quite curved. Anyway, I just wanted to show you <laughs> how things have come such a long distance or curved versus flat. And again, those really are styles, right? It's just a preference. Just because your nails curve, I actually like the slight curve. Not as strong as that because I wouldn't let my nails grow that long, but I like a nice soft curve. It's very natural looking, even though we're doing fake nails. Okay, so I'm going to put a form on the underside when we put the top part on. So when you are squishing that on there, the underside will be smooth. When we do nails, when you're building sculpting nails with acrylic and gel and hybrid gel, we put a form on. This is what we do. And when we put this form on, it creates a very smooth underside. And we piled all the product on, and then we sculpt the top side, right? So now with the new forms, like the full coverage tips and dual uh, poppets, things like that, they are making it smooth on the top side. So now we have to deal with the rough underside. So one way you can do it is by putting a form on underneath. Now, I do find with the poppets, particularly the dual forms, they're a little bit more curvy. Now, maybe there are new straight ones out now that I'm not aware of, but the ones that I have are quite curvy. So it doesn't fit quite as well because if I can just put this on here to show you the tip, if I turn it sideways, see how it curves into it and the tip meets the form. So I do find the Full coverage tips tend to be a bit straighter. The tip, in other words, doesn't dive in to the paper. It's a little bit more parallel. So here's your form and here's your tip. They seem to be flowing together. Whereas I find if this is my form and this is the dual, it dives into the tip a bit, so you don't get quite as a nice shape. So if you're gonna do this, I would recommend it. It works a little bit easier with a full coverage tip. Okay, so let's, let's fill up the tip. Now, if you're doing this on someone else, it's a little bit easier because you have two hands. Right now, I've got a form on one. Okay, so I'm going to gather enough. And it's always a guess. This, this part's always a guess. You don't know. You may have to add more, and that's fine. And then I am going to put the product in there. I'm just dabbing my brush with a little bit of alcohol so that I can move my hybrid gel around. I am loving this pink color. It is so beautiful. Just opaque enough to cover any imperfections and just clear enough to make it look so pretty. So I am just making sure that I'm pulling it all the way to the free edge. Just mainly because I don't necessarily have to pull the tip off. You can use it that way. That was the previous video I just did. If you want to see that, check that out. It's just using your full coverage tips like a dual form or a puppet. So I have two choices. I can leave this tip on or I can take it off. I am filling it up because I do want the color all the way to the end. Really like this color. It's very, very beautiful. Now, 
flip it over and do check for air bubbles because sometimes you can get the air bubbles on there because you can't see it. And I think I do see one on the other side. So I'm just going to press the product in a little bit more just to make sure because whenever you're adding it in, of course, you, there is a chance of getting bubbles. So you just want to make sure you press them out. The product doesn't have bubbles, but you can get it just by transferring it. Just the way it falls in there. Okay, I filled it all up. So now I'm gonna place this on here. I'm gonna gently press it down onto my nail. Now I'm gonna make sure it's straight. It's really easy to make them go down crooked. And I'm gonna press it down into it. That's the thing with these particular tips and my fingers. I'm a little more curvy this way. So it's either gonna fit flush against the form, but then the cuticle bumps up, or I'm gonna fit the cuticle and the tip bumps up. <laughs> so I have to figure out which one I wanna file. So I'm just gonna press it in. I will have to file any excess there, but. This is to make the underside smooth. Okay, so then I'm gonna nuke it when I feel like I'm happy. Okay, so now we can take the paper form out. Okay, we've taken off the form, so let's check out the underside. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, but it's very smooth. Can you see how smooth that is? Oh yeah. You can see the reflection of the light. If the reflection of the light isn't straight, if it's crooked, that means it's not smooth. So that's quite smooth. And that was the goal, right? To make it nice and smooth. So we got it smooth on top and we got it smooth on the bottom. So now we just want to shape it up. This is all the spillage, right? When you squish it together against the form, that's all the spillage that comes out. And the less spillage you get means you're getting better and better at guessing how much product you need to put into the tip. That's really what it's all about. It's just a guessing game, really. And the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? So again, I'm just going to go around the cuticle. Now I have two choices. I could pull the tip off or I could leave it on. Whichever, you know, whatever you're trying to do. But I gotta tell you, I'm loving the full coverage. I'm loving the whole nail being that one color. It just saves an extra step of doing polish or gel polish, whatever your top coat is. Nice. Okay, before I top coat, I decided I do want to pull the top full coverage tip off of it so I can show that how smooth it is on both sides. That was sort of the goal that we wanted. There we go. See that? Now I filed the cuticle, so that's why it's a bit white. But look at smooth there, flip it on the underside, smooth there. Pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm just gonna buff it up and get ready for the top coat. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to dust it off and then we're going to top coat. Okay, I dusted it, but I'm just going to give it a little swipe with alcohol. Okay, let's get that top coat on. Beauty. Okay, let's nuke it. Okay, now remember I said there's two ways. I have another way you can do it to make it smooth, and that is simply with a bit. You can do it like a comb bit, but a pointier bit's a little bit more effective because you can get into the smaller crevices. And it's really actually quite simple. Don't have to turn your drill on too high for these kinds of things. High speed doesn't mean you're gonna get the job done any better. It means that you're drill is running at a high speed that 
can create more friction. And if you don't have a really good control of your drill, it can get out of control. So just have a good bit and a decent speed. So I'm gonna flip it upside down. Now, this one was the one that I just did with the form. I'm gonna clean it with alcohol because right now it has a bunch of dust in there and it really is kind of altering seeing the smoothness of it. Okay, look at that. That is with the form on it that we just did it. See, it's pretty smooth. I don't know if you can see how smooth it is, but it's pretty smooth. So if I can go in a bit of a different angle to show you. See, it's not bumpy under there. It's pretty good. It's pretty much matching the natural nail. It's pretty flush too. It's pretty even with my natural nail. So there's not a big bump under there. This is the finger I did in the previous video where I did not put a form underneath and I just squished the tip on without smoothing the bottom. But how we can do it pretty quickly actually, pretty easy. Put your tip, put your e-file on a lower speed, like seven, eight, nine, depending on the control you have with your e-file. And you literally just place it in here. And this is a bit that you just have to practice a little bit to get used to. You just wanna gently go back and forth. Don't stay in one spot for too long. And you just want to smooth out the bump or bumps. If you can go evenly back and forth and make it flush, just don't go too far. You don't want to go through to the other side. And you don't want to forget to go up to this end of it too. Just don't do in here all the time. You're sort of doing it flush and scooping out the whole thing. It's also a way to get rid of natural nails. Sometimes people don't like their natural nails in there. Some clients don't care. Some clients are very particular. And that's one way you can file them out. Okay, let's get a look. Get rid of the dust. Let's get a little bit of alcohol in there and clean it out so we can better see it. I'm turning it on an angle a bit so you can sort of see the depth inside there. Gives you an idea of how deep it might be in there. But that looks nice. That's really nice and smooth now. That looks really good. So these two are done two different ways, but you've got a nice smooth on the underside. Or whichever way you find easier. You know, back when I was first doing nails, we didn't have the underneath bit. So we just left it bumpy until it grew out. <laughs> Then we took a bigger e-file or bigger bit and tried to get under there as best we can. Anyway, it looks pretty smooth. I really like that. I'm very happy with that. Oh, if you didn't catch this video where I actually applied a full nail with a full coverage tip, treated like a dual. I popped it right off just like you saw me do there. Check this video out. Got all the details.